the cheap version of the chainsaw chain sharpener that's found on AliExpress. Of course, it doesn't come with any instructions. In order to get this thing to work, I had to take a piece of metal like this, and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shove that inside there and tape it on so that I can put this on my chainsaw correctly. If you don't do that, or if I don't do that with my specific chainsaw, this little thing will not engage with the chain and hold the chain in place while it's being filed. So I got my piece of metal taped on there. I got all the screws loosened up. I got this thing here loosened up. And I'm just going to put this on my chainsaw in this direction. And now I take the little file that corresponds to my chain. By sticking this inside, that gives you your height. And <clears throat> use this middle one here to just kind of tighten up a little bit and, and maintain that height. And now you can look at it from the side here and you can level this out. Right? And when I see that it's pretty level, I can tighten up the other two screws tighten up the other two screws and now I'll loosen this again because this stops the chain from sliding if I leave it on okay so now this is set at the right height All right I don't know if you can see that but the, uh, the little file slides in there nicely now I got this little flopper thing and what this does is this pushes the chain against the file with a certain pressure in order for you to grind it. So you got to set that thing up using the Allen key. And um, so like I say, you just you put the, the file in place and you put the flopper behind it. And you tighten that screw up a little bit. And when you take out the file this the chains should advance when you when you pull it you see how it advances like that in there and now what i want to do is i want to tighten this up to create enough tension so that when i spin the file around it it actually grinds something off right so there it's pretty tight right there and now when i spin this there's enough pressure that way that it, it grinds something okay so now i'm all set up to grind all the all the teeth in this one direction right so this handle was actually too long and it would actually bang against there so I had to bend it but ideally I think it would be best just to have a wheel that you could spin instead of the handle because that allows you to keep this piece straight in it allows you to give a little bit more pressure and um, grinds better you grind in the counterclockwise direction. I don't know, I did like five to ten spins, whatever. And then I pull that out. And then you advance it to the next tooth of that di same direction. Okay, so you go around the whole chain, just doing that one direction. A little word of advice, mark your first tooth with a, a felt pen. So you don't go around and around like a crazy man. And then after you've done all the teeth of this direction, you have to now readjust this thing for this direction. So you just, you know, loosen up the Allen key here. With the Allen key, just loosen up the screw. And you got to reposition the flopper thing in order to do all the teeth in that direction. And that's how it's done. Truth is, it took me probably about two hours just to figure out how to set this thing up wasted a lot of time but the truth is if you know how to set it up and it is quick to sharpen the chain so i hope this video helps you i hope you don't have to waste two hours of your time figuring it, the, the thing out it's crazy how they produce things nowadays and they expect the consumer to educate the public on how to use their product